Also tonight, a church family here at home mourning the loss of a child from Gary, Indiana. A six-year-old boy died in a bus accident on Interstate 70 just east of Indianapolis late this afternoon. He was part of a group headed to Dayton for a youth convention. Robert Lowry spoke with those once ex excited to greet them, but now sharing in their sorrow. Well, Mark and Kitty, that group was one of six groups from around the country making their way for, to a youth conference here at the Greater Works Christian Center in Dayton. Well, tonight, before that conference began, the members of that church holding a prayer vigil for all those involved. God, this is a pain, God, we cannot bear. But that Lord God, your love, God, we move it right now, God, and help us, Lord, to deal with this tragedy. Finding comfort in prayer, members of Greater Works Christian Center were shocked to hear what happened to a group on its way here for a youth church conference. It's just disheartening the information that I receive. And so our church family, we're praying with them. Our hearts go out to them. And, uh, and we need the community to come together and, and pray for them as well. The group from St. Jude Family Worship in Gary, Indiana, was heading to Dayton. Indiana State Troopers say the bus rolled over on I-70 about 20 miles east of Indianapolis, killing a six-year-old boy and injuring several others. Among those, the bus driver who was thrown from the bus and pinned underneath. Others who were injured were either flown or driven to nearby hospitals. We pray that Lord that you would dispatch your angels around them, Lord. While it's unclear what caused the crash, the only certainty for the people waiting for their arrival is the power of prayer. We're deeply saddened of this tragedy, but we know that God is able and that God will strengthen our church family and, and strengthen us during this convention. Only you know God. But we trust you, God, with our whole heart, mind, and strength. And the church will continue the conference as planned. Meanwhile, investigators are looking into the bus driver's record. We've learned tonight that the bus driver has a suspended license and also a warrant out for his arrest for failure to appear in court. Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.